Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick shot of G.I. Joe's Ozone from 1991. This is a quick look at this figure. It is not a substitute for a full review. Ozone will eventually get a full review on this channel, but this is just a brief look at the figure for now. I will be doing quick shots of 90s G.I. Joe toys every day for the rest of the year in 2020, so let's finish out the year of the 90s with some extra extra 90s G.I. Joe. This is Ozone. He is from the G.I. Joe sub-team, the Eco Warriors, and he is their Ozone Replenisher Trooper, if you can believe there is such a thing. This figure is very 90s. It's hard to imagine this figure being introduced in any other decade. His accessories include a bright green water-firing cannon, that is connected by an orange hose to a bright green and yellow backpack. The way this works is this yellow segment is uh, soft plastic and this can contain water. You just squeeze it and fire water out of the water cannon. I guess you could imagine him using this to fire ozone into the atmosphere and replenishing the ozone layer. He also included a bright green vacuum gun I'm not sure what else to call this. It is some kind of vacuum device with uh, some computer uh, for analyzing air quality or something. Um, I'm not sure exactly what else this could do, but it certainly is bright green. His final accessory is the helmet. The helmet is made of a soft blue plastic. It has orange highlights. It is unusual to get paint on a G.I. Joe accessory, so it is kind of special to have orange paint on this accessory. With the accessories removed, the figure itself is not too bad. The colors aren't too obnoxious. There is a bit of orange and bright green, but the rest is blue, a light blue and a dark blue, and the head sculpt is quite good. The head is based on a real person. These are details that I will get into when I do a full review of the figure. There is an additional gimmick on this figure, certain parts of the figure would change color on contact with water. This was the battle damage. The chest here may look like it's dirty, but it's not. That is the battle damage color change feature. Overall, this figure is not bad, especially for an Eco Warriors figure. It's the accessories, these crazy bright green, orange, and yellow accessories that really make this figure look like it's something from the 90s. That was a quick shot of Ozone. I hope you enjoyed it. I will eventually do a full review on this figure. Will I get to this figure in 2021? Tune in to find out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel for G.I. Joe toy reviews and tune in every day for the rest of the year 2020 for quick shots of 90s G.I. Joe toys. I'll see you tomorrow for another quick shot. Until then, remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.